one block sky block 1.21.5 for Minecraft. Let's go ahead and install it super easy and super quick. Now guys, the first step is to click the second link in the description, which is our written guide on how to install the one block sky block. If you were to get lost at any moment of this video, you could always come back and read here, look through the screenshots and stuff. However, if you want to make it quick, just scroll down to step one and click the one block button that is going to redirect you over here. Now over here, we're going to scroll down and find 1.21.5, click on the three dots right here and then click download file. Now we have to wait 5 seconds before our download begins, and while we wait for that download, if you want to play one block with friends, just go ahead and use the first link in the description to get 25% off with Apex Hosting when creating your first server. Actually, never mind, it's 30% off when creating your first server with Apex Hosting. You could create a one block server, and not only that, you could actually create a server with over 200 mod packs that you could install with just a click of a button. They obviously have servers all around the world, so you don't have to worry about lagging or anything like that, and you just get a great deal with Apex Hosting all the time. So I'm going to leave that first link in the description for 30% off, and now let's keep going with the tutorial. As we can see, our one block file just downloaded. Let's go ahead and drag and drop it into our desktop. You can find your file here on your recent download history, or you could also find it in your downloads folder within your defaults download folder in your PC. Now, the next step is to add this world into Minecraft. Go ahead and open your Minecraft launcher. Just click on it and then head over to installations. Now, find your regular Minecraft. I'm actually going to get rid of all the modded Minecraft in here. Find your regular Minecraft in here. Hover over it. Make sure it's the 1.21.5 and then click on this open installation folder button right here which is going to open this folder over here, which is going to have a lot of files. Now within this folder, we're looking for another folder called saves. Mine is right here. And if you don't have your saves folder in here, just go ahead and right click and create a new folder and name it saves. Once you do so, go ahead and open that folder up. You're going to see a bunch of worlds in here. It doesn't really matter because we're going to grab that zip file that we had earlier in our desktop that we downloaded. And we're going to drag and drop it into the saves folder. Now that is going to place a zip file in here. And what you're going to do next is right click this zip file Click extract all. If you don't have that extract option, you might have to download WinRAR or 7-zip. But if you have Windows 11 or a new update of Windows 10, you're going to have an extract option in there. And then go ahead and extract that file. Now, if by any reason you get this little error in here, guys, I don't know why this is happening. For now, all we have to do is skip this for all current items. Just go ahead and select that in here and then click skip. And let's just wait for this to finish extracting. Now, after our extraction process finished, we're gonna get a new folder, which when we open, we're gonna have this other folder inside. And this is extremely important, guys. Pay attention to the next step. What you wanna do is come back here to the saves folder, right? Remember, we opened that saves folder here in Minecraft. Open that saves folder app and now create a new folder. So right click, click new, name it whatever you want. I'm going to name mine a skyblock 1.21.5, just so I could later on know from within the game which folder it is. And now go ahead and open that empty folder, right? You have an empty folder now. And what you're going to do is open this other folder that was extracted in here and select every single file inside of this folder. Just go ahead and drag and drop all those files and put them into our new Skyblock folder, okay? As you can see, we left an empty folder over here. And now we could come back into our saves folder and we could get rid of that extracted folder, which is now empty. It only has an empty folder inside. We could go ahead and delete it. And you also have the option of deleting the zip file that you downloaded. But if you later on want to create a new world, I'd recommend that you keep the zip file or that you make a copy of your new world before you start it, right? But I'm going to go ahead and delete my zip file. And as you can see, you now have that Skyblock 1.21.5 folder in here, which when you open, you should have all these files inside. Make sure all those files are inside this folder and not inside another folder after you open this one up. And now let's go ahead and launch our game. Now, once the game opens, let's go ahead and click on single player and scroll down in here and you should see that Skyblock 1.21.5 right here. And if you hit play, you'll be able to play in your own Skyblock world. If you wanna play with friends, you're gonna have to create a server. If you click that first link in the description, you'll be able to create a server with Apex Hosting and get 30% off. Let's go ahead and fix my FOV in here. And as you can see, we got that one block Skyblock working within Minecraft. Let's just go ahead and make sure we crouch so we pick up everything in here because if you don't grab it, it's just going to keep falling. And there you go, guys. There you have it. You have a sky block or one block a sky block in Minecraft 1.21.5. If this video helped you, don't forget to subscribe. And as always, bye bye.